this week's Top Gear, new cars for the price of second-hand ones. The results of the RAC rally. And rallying with a difference. It's interesting. What's this? What? The stupid car. Where's the Cosworth? What? The Cosworth, the Bluesmobile. I traded it. You traded the Cosworth for this? No, I traded it for a microphone. OK. I can see that. But what about this? I couldn't resist it. It was an absolute bargain. They were practically giving them away. It's a Lada Reva. Well, thanks, pal. Day I get out of prison, you pick me up in a larder. You don't like it? No, I don't like it. But, Jeremy, it's got a 1.5-litre Russian engine, a Russian suspension, Russian gearbox, seats for four Russians, a Russian toolkit, Russian boot, and it only costs 3,905 of your pounds. Doesn't have a cigarette lighter. It was built to withstand a Russian winter. Quentin, it's a horrible car. Yes, you're absolutely right. I've been deliberately wasting your time. It's a hateful, hateful car. Warp drive depreciation, balsa wood bill quality, and all the charisma of a misfiring moped. Quentin, I want you to pull up, and then I want you to get out, and I want you to go and find me a cheap new car that isn't horrible. Yes, all right, I'll go and get one right away. Well, there's the Lada Samara at £6,200, Russia's idea of a modern hatchback. But it's still horrible. It still depreciates like a South American currency and still has gym crack build quality. But now it's time to get serious. And there's the rub. Larders still have a long, long way to go before I, for one, can take them seriously. So where do you look if you want a nice, shiny, cheap new motor? Well, how about Malaysia? Because that's where they make protons. So far, 60,000 protons have found happy owners because of their low price, reliability and solid warranty. Style may be lacking, but the mainly middle-aged buyers don't worry. Not for nothing do Proton sponsor the Come Dancing trophy. Anxious to penetrate even deeper into suburbia, they've launched a new model, the Persona. It's bigger and better than the old one and leagues ahead of the lacklustre Lada. Power is courtesy of Mitsubishi's 16-valve 1.6-litre engine, a well-proven and refined device. The Persona clips along quite nicely and looks neat and businesslike. So, an interesting cocktail of Japanese technology and Malaysian labour rates means you get a good car. Well, it's not quite as simple as that. Inside, it can't hide its origins. There's more plastic than a toy factory, and it's all very shiny and oriental. And then there's that pointed nose. Come back, the Vauxhall Viva, all is forgiven. But these are haughty quibbles, which won't worry your average proton buyer. They're more interested in value for money. Which is the main reason why the middle-aged middle classes won't be going out and buying this new proton on their droves, because it costs £11,000. So, with the Persona, Proton are attempting to take on the major players. They're locking horns with the Nissan Primera, the Ford Mondeo and the Vauxhall Cavalier. And it's a battle that this car simply cannot win. To put it kindly, 
the persona is a very, very expensive compromise. Personally, for my money, I'd rather buy a second-hand Ford Mondeo. Not so fast, Mr. Bliss. You see, some people like the buzz you get from a new car. Some people like manufacturer's warranties. And if you're one of these people burdened by a limited budget, then I have some good news. Because while Quentin's been dithering around in that shiversomely mediocre Proton, I've been thrashing around in this little Skoda. And I have to tell you, I think it's the knees of the bee. <laughs> It's called the Favourite, and it's a fairly modern, conventional, front-wheel drive, 1.3-litre hatchback with five doors. It was styled by the Italians. It's made in Czechoslovakia, which was one of the engineering capitals of the world before that Lada lot rolled in with their tanks. And, of course, Skoda is now owned by Volkswagen. That means the interior is completely free of annoying rattles.